All right, so today's video, we're taking a look at an alarm clock. It's battery powered, so it makes it portable. Three different alarms, has a nice big display, temperature, uh, date, day of the week. Anyway, check out a couple of images that detail a little bit more about this. We'll get into the video, take a little closer look, and talk more about it. All right, so as stated, we're taking a look at a alarm clock or clock, and it actually has the day of the week on this side over here. You have the month and the day here. You have your temperature here. You have your alarm for one, two, and three here. Of course, you have your time up here, and up here is gonna show you a little indicator. Uh, this has three different alarms. You could have one through five, which is uh, like Monday through Friday, then uh, 1 through 6, which is Monday through Saturday, 1 through 7, which is Monday through Sunday. So you can set this up depending upon what you actually want out of it as far as the uh, functionality. You have 12 or 24 hour time format. You also have an option to have uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit as far as the temperature goes. And as you can see right now, you know, it's just a LCD like look to it. Now, let me flip the light off real quick. You may be able to see it has a little bit of a soft glow. And if I touch this button here on the top, it lights up even more. Of course, the camera is not going to pick it up, but for me in person, it actually looks really, really good. And it lights up really well. So it's really cool that it has this super soft kind of glow to it so you can see it better at night. So I'm currently just using this in the bathroom. All right, so I'm not sure exactly how well you can see the actual clock sitting on the counter but if we zoom in you can see it right there zoom back out and if we flip the light you can see that it illuminates and it's actually a more dramatic illumination as far as the camera is concerned um, it actually doesn't show up like that super bright but it shows up really well and you can see it pretty well with the dim light which is going to conserve your battery, which is ideal. All right, I just want to give you a quick demonstration. Uh, because I don't have to have a cable run across the actual you know, cabinet, uh, which is what I had when I had a clock that was plugged in. So that's pretty cool. It uses micro USB, and it is included. So that's really nice. So you don't have to worry about if you lose this, because you can pick one of these up just about anywhere. Uh, you do have the box here it comes in. And... Like your little user guide that actually is pretty thorough and it's very simple to set this you basically just hold down the set button on the time or hold down the alarm button on whichever one of the alarms you want um, you can turn the volume up and down as a high and a low you have the snooze or light function right on the top and on the back if you open this door it's just a typical 18650 battery so you can use the one it's included you can rotate it out, switch them out, or you can buy uh, much higher capacity batteries that are 18650 that just have, you know, higher output uh, so that you can actually run this thing longer, but you're going to get a pretty lot, you know, a lot of use out of it because it's just a clock. Um, unless you're using the light function really, really often, then you might burn up uh, more time usage, but you'll get months of usage out of this. Um, it's really going to vary depending on the individual, but you can actually read uh, the link that I'll leave below and find out more about some of the details. Maybe talk, uh, some of the other people uh, speaking about it will give you an idea in their reviews on you know, the actual. That is the actual alarm. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an example. So you can hear. So that's low and high. So as you can hear the changes and the volume, it should make it so that even kind of a heavier sleeper probably would wake up. 
I would think. Turn that down to low. So that's pretty much how that works. Uh, as far as the alarm goes, I went ahead and set that so it would pop up. Uh, when you do have this plugged in, there are charging indicators down here, also low battery alert. So you'll see the uh, different lights. It'll be green when it's um, <clears throat> fully charged. It'll be yellow when it's charging, red when it needs to be charged. And again, it's 18650 battery, so they're super common. So that's really cool. Kind of acts as a battery backup type situation too, since it's battery powered. Um, you don't have to worry about if your power were to go out. But... Uh, I say this is the little box that it comes in, you know, nothing too uh, flashy or fancy. But yeah, I mean, it works quite well. Uh, I like the way the different, I, I don't use this alarm very much uh, myself because I tend to wake up at the same time without an alarm or I have Amazon Echoes that wake me up. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of people use their telephone, of course. But this works great in the bathroom for me, like I said, because I don't have to worry about cables running across, uh, you know, dealing with the sink, water, anything like that. I can just set this over to the side and I don't have to worry about it uh, months at a time before having to charge it back up. But yeah, I think it's really cool, uh, the functionality. And I like the light. Like I said, at night, it has this super faint glow. You can barely, barely see the uh, light output, but it makes the clock face very readable. At 4.3 inches, even with my vision issues, it's very easy to see even from across the room. So really cool clock. Uh, I just wanted to give you... Uh, example of the alarm and again you can set up you know three different alarms different time frames and you know some of the functionality like I say I use it in the bathroom I want to show you the lighting scenarios where you can have the very bright light for five seconds when you press the button or you can actually just uh, in you know darker environment have that soft glow which I actually really like a lot and then during the day it's just gonna be a standard LCD setup so that's pretty much it uh, I'll leave a link below you can actually read more find out more about it and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.